I used the chemotherapy drug for skin rejuvenation and after quite the recovery period, my skin has never looked better. This is a pioneering treatment and there aren't that many younger people that have tried it. So I took high quality photos every single day in controlled lighting conditions to document my experience and share it with the world. The drug is called turbinibulin, also known as Clyceri, and it is normally prescribed for the treatment of precancerous actinic keratoses. Interestingly, prescribing dermatologists have noticed and published on the observation that patients treated with turbinibulin have great cosmetic outcomes. Turbinibulin seems to improve skin texture and lift hyperpigmentation. The mechanism for this is unclear, but the drug is safe and well tolerated and the results are interesting, so I had to try it myself. I was prescribed turbinibulin by my friend, the excellent Dr. Kieran Smith, who has been trailblazing Clyceri for cosmetic use. He has documented his own Clyceri journey on his account. Six week Clyceri update. I had noticed how much of a cosmetic benefit this was having in addition to treating the precancerous lesions on people's face. And I decided to try it on myself. I had these uh, like basically UV or sunspots that were on my cheeks here and they are still gone. And has prescribed it off label for many patients interested in the skin rejuvenating effects while studying the results. Welcome Karen. Thank you for joining the call here. When did you start noticing that Clyceri had these anti-aging effects? Was it from the case series that was published or did you notice this before just using it on your own patients? Some people I knew had tried using the medication for anti-aging effect and I saw their before and after pictures and it worked. Your, your results that you got from your just before and after pictures and when I saw you at AAD, like your skin looked great. With mine, yeah. myself. Yeah, so... So I really wanted to try this. Where, where would you rank Clyceri just subjectively in terms of how effective it is at reducing the signs of aging compared to other treatments? As good as devices, really. I mean, I had some sunspots lifted that nothing had touched before. It lifted those sunspots. You could see the changes on the UV filter on the camera. It's definitely like device level results. And from a five day treatment, it's insane. It'd be helpful to know how this drug is affecting pigment. The one way to find out is just to try it, you know, even before we, we understand the mechanism. People work out the science after a discovery of something. <laughs> yeah, yes. yeah, exactly. And a, a lot of it is, you know, that kind of post hoc reasoning. And, and a lot of the mechanisms we think are true are are only partially true or, or aren't true. And even even with this one too, I mean, it, it's a microtubule inhibitor. Yeah. yeah, I mean, there's there's a lot of things that could be happening, like indirectly we could have some of these dysplastic keratinocytes releasing inflammatory cytokines that cause some sort of cascade that affects the melanocytes, right? There's a lot going on in aging skin. Thank you for, for uh, this whole thing. Of course, yeah. Well, I'm really glad that you decided to actually go ahead and do it and you like took it to the extreme too. Oh yeah, I wanna see the, the best case scenario how this drug could affect the skin you know yeah, you're pushing the limits for sure <laughs> pushing the science forward i don't know about that this isn't rigorous science here this is <laughs> an anecdote but hopefully it inspires some scientists and inspires you to keep going on to do more real science on the drug to see what the anti-aging benefits are because there are limited fda approved options for for anti-aging i'd love to have another one and it's pretty simple to use it comes in these little packets which you apply once daily for five days we're going to open our clyceri right, now we're going to clyceri a hundred dollars for these packets and there are five of them 350 milligrams each 1400 1750 or so less than two grams less than two grams of product like over a thousand dollars retail price this is crazy. People often refer to like tretinoin and retinoids as liquid gold, but this is like actually liquid gold. I think this is probably, this is more expensive than gold by weight. So for today, we're gonna apply three of these packets. So I got three boxes here. I had to wait for my refills each one of these times to get them so that I can cover most of my face at least because this ointment is applied for five days, once a day, directly to uh, your your lesion, which is usually an actinic keratosis. So an AK, you have a little AK on your face or your scalp or whatever, you rub this on once a day for five days. But I'm covering my whole face because my whole face is the problem. Keep out of reach of children. So the area that I want the most on the bridge of the nose, oh, I don't wanna get it on the crease of my eye. It's not recommended to get in your eye. But also I have a lot of sun damage right under my eyes. Put this on my ears maybe, yeah. yeah. Packet one, down. Packet two. Okay. Oh, you know what? I forgot to shower. I guess we're not showering today. Dr. Smith has noted that the reaction to the drug, the redness, irritation, and crusting that you can get is often much less severe in younger, healthier skin like my own. My thoughts are that it could be due to a lower burden of dysplastic precancerous cells being present and targeted, or perhaps that the barrier function of an AK is compromised so that more of the drug gets absorbed into an active AK lesion than it would in healthy skin. I'm really excited to see your results because I think you went even harder than I did. <laughs> 
<laughs> your, most out of it. And your, your mechanism of delivery. So therefore, to get the most out of this treatment, I did an acetone prep before each application. So acetone prep is done a lot for photodynamic therapy. Acetone is not good for your skin. That's kind of the point. It compromises your skin's barrier function so that drugs can be absorbed. And doing it every day like this, you know, it's probably really irritating my skin, but I don't care because skin will recover and hopefully I will have long-term benefits of the clay series. Any redness at all? I'm not seeing it. Hopefully this acetone prep is gonna help with the redness. I mean, help give me more redness, a uh, sign that it's working. All right, there we go. That's day two. And I microneedled before one of the applications to greatly increase penetration. This is day three, and now I'm gonna microneedle my skin to make the drug penetrate even better. This is the Derminator 2. If you want a video about how to microneedle correctly, then subscribe, because I'm a big fan of microneedling. And I think that microneedling devices, they seem scary, they're kind of loud, but they are actually one of the safest ways to do microneedling, much safer than a roller, which I think most people do at home because they seem less intimidating, but a lot more can go wrong in a roller. Let's go. Just putting some lubrication. Got to lube up when you microneedle. All right. Right now I'm not microneedling too deeply. So if I were doing this in order to help collagen induction, I'd be putting these needles a lot deeper, but right now I'm just doing 0.25 millimeter depth. Okay, I'm back. So you see that my face, after I washed that off, it's not that bloody, it's just a little bit pink. Well, that's downright soothing. <laughs> Don't try this at home. And that definitely did the trick. I experienced redness, irritation, tightness, and even some crusting on my chin. Today, my face is feeling a lot more irritated than it was before, which is good. What I expected after I microneedled it in, the face is so irritated. Okay, checking in day seven, and now my face is a lot more red, and we can see that there's some crusting underneath my lip and my face just feels really tight and it hurts. But overall, it's not too bad. They say that day seven or eight is the most intense, and this is better than, I think, fractional CO2 laser treatment, or I've also done photodynamic therapy, which I think was worse than this. So overall, not too bad, even though I did go extra hard on microneedling and doing acetone prep and all that. So this is pretty much the worst case scenario. I sent you pictures, but I have sort of painful angular chelitis here. Mm -hmm. uh, so like when I eat, it, it's a little bit painful and some crusting and oozing here, redness on the cheeks. But overall, I would say that it's it's not bad. Even when I went to the extreme measures I did to give myself the worst possible result with this drug, <laughs> it's still better than I think fractional CO2 laser recovery or especially the recovery from from uh, photodynamic therapy. I showed you some pictures of, of yeah. that. that. That was so brutal. It hurts when I touch it, it hurts when I move. It hurt when I was eating earlier, just like when I opened my mouth and that tight, dry skin was kind of breaking. And on here it was like oozing fluid and then it crusted up. Overall though, this has been a much easier recovery period than for example, I've experienced with fractional CO2 lasers. And it was a lot less scary and less invasive than getting my face blasted, which makes this a really easy and interesting option. And although my skin was already pretty good for a 33 year old sub for my skincare routine and treatment history, you can see that I have some uneven pigmentation, especially on my cheeks that was noticeably improved by the Clyceri. So I'm pretty happy with the results. And I spoke to someone who works at the pharmaceutical company who makes this drug. And although she uses the drug herself for anti-aging purposes, she said that the company does not currently have any plans to gain an indication for or market for cosmetic use. And there are still many open questions on how to use turbinibulin cosmetically. Dosing, number of sessions, frequency of use. And of course, we need more high quality placebo controlled clinical trials in a younger population to confirm the efficacy. I'll be following developments closely and make an updated video in the future, including a long-term results video about a month from now. And for a limited time, you can support my content and get one of these beautifully embroidered Accutane hats I designed myself by signing up for my collaborator tier on Patreon. Lodos Accutane saved my life and this hat will turn more heads than perfectly clear skin. You will have other swag bags designed by me as time goes on and have access to a Discord to talk to me directly. Thank you. And this isn't a recommendation. I don't think everyone should just run out and get Clyceri. It's just an interesting new treatment I wanted to try and document for you all. However, if you're interested in trying Clyceri, you can talk to Dr. Kieran Smith, who can help you decide if this treatment could be appropriate for you. You're, you're a pioneer in this in this field, so I'm so happy that you know I was able to get the Clyceri from you and start this project. Links and scientific sources at avivacarter.com. Subscribe for the best skin of your life. Okay, bye. And I'm sorry if I look so frowny when I uh, take these pictures. You know, I want you to be able to see the skin really well, and if I, I'm smiling and stretching it out you won't be able to so you're gonna have to get a, a deadpan face i try not to subject my audience to that kind of negativity but sometimes it's necessary and we'll see how it looks i mean it feels worse than it looks i think oh yeah we are dry and crusty i think a lot of people would be really into this